What's going on, fight fans? It's the MMA Encyclopedia, George Kennebrew here. NFC Fight Night, number 68. This interview is being brought to you by Mirror Lake Collision and Hot Rods. And whoa, sir, you're getting too comfortable there. Okay, uh, Dave Obelis, yeah, uh, North Atlanta's favorite bachelor. Uh, how? How you doing tonight, man? You molested me last time. I got you back. Uh, oh, oh, that's yeah. what it is. Turn yeah. about fair Save play. That. Okay. That. Well, I, I'm surprised you're not off watching Mayweather and Maidana somewhere. It already ended. You know, they changed the pay-per-view time to where it started an hour earlier. Last time, you, it's always started like 11.30. This time it started at 10.30. So, yeah. missed it. I know he uh, beat the crap out of him and won the fight unanimous decision. Yeah, I mean, you were down there talking about you're going to check your results. I'm like, there is no results. It's unanimous decision. Floyd Mayweather goes home with the purse money. We already know the result. It's a fixed fight. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. I didn't understand. You just spit all over me, actually. Oh, is it? Is you it? Said, a, you said Mayweather beats the crap out of everybody. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't. I know we had a slight chance of rain, but anyway, I didn't. <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't know we were having showers here in the. In the okay, but anyway, um, on to your own uh set of business. Uh, NFC Fight Night, sixty-eight, another success, exciting night of fights. Rusty Crowder. Let's start off with him real quick. Came out and. I don't think I would never hear myself saying the words Solon, Solo Staley ate humble pie, but he ate humble pie tonight, and he served it up on a cold dish. He did. I just talked to Solon backstage. He definitely was not as uh, chatterbox and excited as he was last night. I can say that much. Um, but he's always been a nice guy, cool dude to fight uh, with. Uh, you know, Rusty is, I think it's his third time fighting in the main event here. Yeah. I think he's won two out of the three, I believe. Yeah, he's um, hot right now. Yeah, he's proved himself. I mean, anyone with a tattoo on their chest is Rusty. Rowdy. <laughs> the old Rowdy. Yeah. They're, they're a badass. Yeah, they and, are. And they come from a gym where Nick Sprayberry, who actually has Sprayberry tattooed on his back. Exactly. So, I don't know. Maybe these guys in yeah, DEF CON don't remember their names very often. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or somebody has to remind them. Yeah. Like they did Roy Jones. Y'all must have yeah. forgot. So maybe I gotta maybe after you. they beat the crap out of people, they show them, remind them they're, their name. That's it. That's <laughs> it. And speaking of Nick Sprayberry, man, came out and put on a spectacular performance. It's got the, the guillotine choke, uh, tapped his opponent out, match set, game over. Yeah, I mean, Nick's someone that grew up here. He's fought a lot of amateur fights here, won the title, um, you know, earned a pro debut and had a damn good win against Mike Galatella, who I've never seen fight. Um, but he was pretty good as well from ATT. I mean, that's a good win for Nick right there. Right. And and talk about a, a big Warren Smith, man, coming out laying the hammer on John Morehouse. I mean, that he, he wobbled him and, and jumped on him, went in for the kill, and the lights went out in Georgia. Yeah, I mean, Warren was a damn good amateur here as well. Won a uh, 170 title. Um, hasn't done that great as a pro. I think he's 1-2 and two before tonight, so 2-2 two and two now. Right. Um, dropped down to 155 for this fight. I, I really didn't think he was going to make weight. I, I thought he'd come in heavy going from 170 to 55. Yeah, he's a big man. Yeah, he's a big dude, but he made weight. Mm -hmm. um, and he's a little powerhouse also. He is. So now that he's 55, he should he should be for, a force out there. Right. So. Now, one last thing. I, I've noticed uh, you, you, you've, you've got a piece of, of, of blingage on your fighters tonight. I saw the official NFC uh, uh, chain. Uh, uh, tell me a, a little bit of the perspective behind that, man. I always say uh, if you're a good promoter, you got to follow other good promoters. Fight Lab, you know, they're one of the best shows in the Southeast. And I'll admit, I copied uh, Mike Allen and Kenya Lutz. See, you know? see I'll admit. this is a true promoter right here, ladies and gentlemen, giving credit where credit is due. Yeah, I mean, me and Mike always talk about bouncing ideas back and forth, and they've had the cool Fight Lab things. Um, and I just thought it was a cool thing to do. So I totally copied them. The fighters seemed to enjoy it. And, uh, you know, it went well. We'll do it again. Uh, I know you got some, some great things coming up next month. Why don't you go ahead and share it with us? We've actually got the uh, next three shows scheduled. It's probably the biggest three shows of the year. The Halloween show, that's Saturday, October 25th here at Wild Bills. Um, we do it each year. Followed by uh, my first show at Center Stage in about 10 years. That's Saturday, November 8th. Um, that's an all amateur show. Cool thing is it's all ages, so kids can come to that one. And I get tons of requests about kids coming here to Wild Bills, and we have to say no, it's 18 and up. So I'm super excited about Saturday, November 8th. That's uh, NFC 70. And then we come back here to Wild Bills, NFC 71. That's Friday, December 12th. And that's our cool end of the year show. It's the Toys for Tots fight night. Anyone that brings a new toy gets them completely free. It's one of the top 10 single day toy, single day toy drives in Georgia raising about 3,000 toys per year. Well. Don't you just love this guy, man? An ambassador in the community, ambassador in MMA, and, and just all around good guy, man. My buddy, your buddy, everybody's buddy, Dave Oblis. As you know, this interview has been brought to you by Mirror Lates Collision and Hot Rods. Check us out on MMAMayhemRadio.com. And all you ladies out there, if you're looking for a hot date, this is the man to see.
North Atlanta's hottest bachelor, Dave Obelis. I'm George Kennerew, the MMA Encyclopedia, saying good night, everybody. <laughs>